So as I said, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of it's found in the description box below. That was a really nice transition. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 4. So Forza has gifted us with this beautiful Senna. If we did play the demo, it was free to us. We did get codes. So if you guys did not play the demo and don't have the game, you guys missed out on getting this beautiful McLaren Senna. Um, we're going to rip this around here for a few minutes, and then we're going to get into the purpose of today's episode, and that is uh, a little bit of snow fun since there's only about a day left here in winter season. We're going to have some snow fun rally style and uh some pretty fun environments but of course you know we're gonna rock Oof. this setup i don't know if it's a very good idea to be rocking the setup in the snow we're gonna get our wheel cam turned on there we go we are on a launch check t920 with our energy innovations 350 millimeter minty green and nero chrome wheel hydraulic cam brake clutch brake and sequential shifter Yo, yeah, this is definitely not the the right car to be in the snow. The McLaren Senna on street tires. Probably some very uh, high-performance tires at that. So a little bit of cruising the first person in the Senna. Whoa. This thing is skatey. This is definitely going to be fun coming up here in the spring season. I believe we have about a day or so left of winter season before we switch out. Wow. This thing is super tail happy, but like I said, today we are going to have some fun in the snow. Rally style. Ooh, got my driving gloves on. I actually motocross gloves, but rally style here today. And of course, there's the standard grinding of Forza if you are too quick on the clutch and not quick on the gear change. So, we are going to get into driving in the snow today. I do have a, a very fun car picked out. It's nothing super aggressive because I found out driving a little bit lower horsepower cars that are not as powerful are actually a little bit more fun to drive and um, race with than stupid like horsepower cars. Jesus. Probably not the best idea here. Floor it in fifth. Oh God. In fourth. We're just trying to keep some traction. Oh, they want to wreck our brand new Senna. This thing is definitely going to get ripped here as soon as the snow thaws out in this uh, Forza world. Oh. Yep. Well, let's get into the car that we are going to be running today. I do choose this car because it is a favorite one of my cars. And also it is set on snow tires, so we will be ripping through uh, the snow with no problem, hopefully. The Super Impreza 22B STI. Rocking some uh, Enki RPF ones um, with the full wide track stance on the car. Uh, it definitely sounds pretty sweet for being a. There's some mild tunes to it. It is an A class car, so it does have a cage in there to get it down to A class. But a quick, uh, quick look around this car. As you can see, we are rocking the full stance package. So, like I said, we are going to do some uh, down and dirty dirt racing. So we gotta make our way to uh, a race. So I think the fastest way to get there would be to, uh, for sake of uh, boringness of driving for you guys, we're going to uh, just fast travel to one of our close houses and I'll catch you guys when we get there. But like I said, we're gonna be running this 22B STI here in the uh, snowy uh, tundra that is Horizon 4 winter season. Got the Carlton dance going on with my uh, festival shades and my weird snow cargo pants. Like I said, we are rocking snow tires on this car on some RPF ones. Um, it is on um, drift suspension uh, to help with steering angle if I want, but also because it gets really low and it's a soft suspension, so it's kind of nice. I didn't want to put it on rally suspension because I kind of wanted to keep it also low because normally I was doing some street racing with it. But we are here to do some rally racing in uh, Durwood Reservoir. I believe we are on a really high difficulty. Yeah, we are an expert. So I think we're just going to leave it on expert. 
see how it goes. And, uh, the one thing I don't like is I don't like the starts. I wish it gave you a countdown and it wasn't just instantly green like that, because I tend to, if I'm not on the clutch, stall out on the start. So like I said, I'm having a lot more fun racing these lower powered cars rather than stupidly high powered cars. And I feel like we're coming up to a really hard turn. Oh, come on, excuse you. So what is your favorite winter car that you guys are running in the winter season? Is it a truck? Is it a rally car? Is it a normal car? Or is it a really high powered car? Because uh, I know a lot of people like driving some really high powered trucks, but I personally do not. I have fun with my little 530 horsepower Subaru. Now this is supposed to be a rally, so I'm hoping there's gonna be off-road, but as you can see, this car only has five gears. This car handles very well on pavement. It's a little slippery when I need it to, but enough to get it back. These guys are right on me. Water splash, don't screw up our line. So, are you guys having fun in the winter season? Are you excited for spring to be coming? Because I know I am. Uh, Urgent and I, one of my teammates, found a uh, pretty nice section in the snow yesterday that we're hoping is pavement when it comes... Uh, when it comes to spring and fall and summer because uh, it's uh, a really nice drifting tandem section and hopefully, oops, that turn was uh, a lot more aggressive than I thought. Hopefully it's pavement and we'll be able to get some really nice tandems in that section. So apparently this is a road race and not a rally like I thought it was going to. So get wrecked. I thought we were going to have some fun in the snow, but apparently this is not a snow rally. Excuse me, coming through. Because I thought, because it was in the dirt section, it was going to be uh, some uh, off-roady stuff. Rip that e-brake. Oh, man. That hurt. Okay. All right, guys. So, he totally just decided to... Uh, hit me and send me completely off course. So I guess we're going to try and redo this one again. That's what I wanted to do. He didn't hit me that time. So uh, those guys are jerks as well. So I'm thinking maybe we'll get to some off road, but so like I said, are you guys having fun in the winter? What's your favorite car? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Are you excited for spring? And what cars are you bringing out for the spring? What cars have been sitting in your garage? that you've been waiting for spring to come out to bring those bad boys out into the weather. Ah, here we go. Now we're on some, uh, now we're on some snowy gravel. Now we'll be able to see what, uh, how this car handles pavement versus gravel. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit on the twitchy side. Oh, so glad that was a wall. Otherwise we would've been into those people. I did notice that, uh, the grip factors on these cars, whether it's snow, mud, or whatever, change a lot. It's not the same, which is kind of nice. It makes all the cars handle different each season. We took first, I'd say, with ease, but we had to use rewind, but with ease. So we're just trying to uh, continue our career here, get more money, because we have drained our money funds, if you haven't noticed. We did buy um, some stuff, Urge and I went shopping, uh, built some cars, and... Uh, I bought a few Forza Edition cars off the marketplace, so if I bought them off you, you're welcome. Dropped a good amount of money for that, so you're welcome. So I see another event up here that's new, so we're just gonna go right to it. And I feel like this one is gonna be more off-road and snowy. One can only hope. Foothills Scramble. This one should be snowy. We're going to continue in our Retro Rally class because uh, it's the only car that I have tuned up enough to uh, comfortable driving in. I mean, I could drive some stock cars. They'd be pretty slow, but I do love the 22B, probably one of my favorite Subarus in all of Subarus. Got that Carlton dance going on. Here we go. Foothill Scrambles. I'm assuming hopefully this will be more snow and dirt than the other one, so we're going to hop right into it. And, uh, yep. This one's gonna be a little bit more off road. I 
can already see it. Cut that a little bit. Yep, this is what I was looking for. Fun in the snow, with a Subaru, on snow tires, on a full 900 degrees of rotation wheel. Well, or 870, however you want to put that, because like I said, I do run 870 so that I'm not hitting physical stop on my wheel because of the heavier rim. I did that so I don't hit physical lock on my wheel as hard. There's a little bit of a buffer. So this 22B handles pretty well in the snow. So we understand like that. But what I am noticing, I'm not really having with the setting changes that oscillation in the, in the snow or off-road. It's, uh, the car's pretty, pretty comfortable. It doesn't like, when it starts to slide out, I can usually catch it and grab it. We just lost our exhaust. See, it would have been sweet if Forza made if you lose your exhaust, the car gets louder, because that would have been really epic. But, you know, it's kind of interesting that you just tap the wall on the side and the exhaust just decides to fall off. Hard brake turn. I probably could have e-braked that, but we're trying to run a grip line in the snow. Excuse me, Zeus. What's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Just impulse if you've been a, a friend of the channel and a follower for a while. Zeus Impulse was a member of the team, and then he decided to uh, do elsewhere with life currently and everything so that is why he has not been around recently but he's still always a member of team noodle rabbit one of the og members so we got a pretty good feel of this course now and we're gonna try and get a little uh get a little saucy in here try and cut some corners and make up some time that's not gonna help us I said cut corners and make up time, and uh, I cut too much. So uh, I wish I had a co-driver right there saying, you know, don't cut. Normally, I don't use rewinds, but uh, for the sake of having to restart this entire event and uh, for the sake of recording time, I'm going to try and drift this out here. There we go. That was nice. For the sake of recording time for you guys, it's just easier to quick re rewind and re uh restart the whole event because you probably don't want to see the same thing that you just saw again I almost missed an e break there which is odd because it's really big so like I said I, with the setting changes that I've made on the wheel settings I'm not getting the crazy over rotation of the car where it's super hard to control it could be because it's all-wheel drive and that might be helping a lot but uh I mean, if you are racing off-road, you probably should be running all-wheel drive anyways. We need to break this one. There we go. Probably should be running all-wheel drive. We're getting a little, uh, little saucy now through the turns. You know, throwing the e-brake around and having a little fun. We still have one more lap to do. Oh, I did not. I locked up the front brakes. Like I said, I am not running any assists. No assists, no driving lines, nothing. This is full blown on car um no abs no traction no stability this is just full blown on driving which is the way i drive all my games because uh i can uh, modulate my braking and make my own abs usually pretty well like that it was a really nice turn so like i said the wheel feels good especially in the snow and uh you guys have been following all the uh little tweaks and stuff I've been making to the wheel setup. It's just, it's a progression to make the wheel feel better. I mean, there's always going to be tweaks, but once we find that golden setting, which we are pretty close to, I feel, it'll be good. Now, you know, as for other Forza games, you know, I have those settings, and those settings don't uh, coincide with settings in here. Uh, each Forza game is different, but, you know, we've been uh, slowly getting input from other drivers, and, uh, other uh, other subscribers with input on wheel settings and stuff like that to come up with this. That's the biggest thing that I like about you guys commenting on these videos with your what you're feeling on your wheels when you adjust your settings and stuff like that because you know not only does it you know allow me to interact with you guys some am I gonna miss that again? <laughs> allow me to interact with you guys. You know, trying to drive and hold a conversation sometimes is uh trickier than you think so um, because you're not solely focused on driving but 
it's a way for me to interact with you guys and also a way to get the uh, settings better because you know everybody's in input is uh, amazing just like the last video I posted about the change in the force feedback understeer it's made this wheel so much better it feels so much nicer and that was just because of an input from another driver so that's what I love I try to keep in tabs with you guys and try bringing more and more content to you guys to help you guys on the wheels to uh, get better on the wheel and not get frustrated with it because I know when I first got my wheel I was frustrated I couldn't drift couldn't drive it was it was just annoying but the more and more seat time you get the more and more practice you get the, the easier it becomes and the more second nature it becomes then you start throwing other things at it more power different cars you know and then you have that going for you so I think we may do one more race here today in the snow if we're really close to one. Well, we might finish it off with some wheel spins. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of you found in the description box below. MGA Twin Cam. Okay, I don't think I'll ever drive that. But it is what it is. So let us see if we have any more wheel spins let's check on we got some messages from a lot of people or a lot of things what do we got going on here we got uh some we got 35 uses and seven downloads of my 350z tune i believe and then another eight downloads and that we got some business payouts so a lot of people are rocking that 350z tune so i think we're going to finish this episode off with a final wind spin here so, snow, it's going to be over, but I had a lot of fun in the snow. Like I said, let me know what your, I will take the 175 grand. What's your favorite car that you raced in the winter season now that we're coming up to spring season? And uh, what cars are you bringing out of the garage for spring? I know I will be bringing out some uh, some heavy hitters for uh, spring session. One of which I feel like I should, uh, I feel like I'm just going to like bring out a car and mess around with it real quick before we completely end this episode off it's an fd car so it's something i've been uh working on because the fd cars do feel wheeled on a wheel but the setting changes that we made recently made these cars feel a little bit better um so i've been rocking the uh matfields s14.5 um obviously carbon fiber blacked out not the best car in the snow as you can see but it uh it will be rowdy come springtime, but as you can see, the uh, wheel does feel pretty good though. It doesn't completely snap itself out of the way, so we're just going to rip this a little bit. A little fun in the snow. Oop. Stall it out. A clutch kick, a little break. So if you guys have fun drifting in the snow as well, let me know in the comment section down below. We just ran those. Besides. What's your uh, drift weapon choice for the winter? Not a tree, I hope. What's your drift weapon choice for the winter? What do you like using? Is it an FD car? Do you like the FD cars in the snow? Because these things are really hard to control in the snow. And it's because you can't change the tires. I'd probably rather use a regular... What's up, buddy? I'd probably use a regular car on snow tires for snow drifting. But, you know, we're just... Uh, whipping this s14.5 around because we can just stay matted gas and just constant power because well this thing has power for days and uh a lot of loss of traction there's a pretty nice road up here that i think we're gonna hit that in this episode off so as i said make sure you follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of you found in the description box below that was a really nice transition and as always i appreciate all the comments and all the support from you guys the channel is becoming bigger and bigger every day and i can't thank you guys enough so i will keep bringing the content if you guys keep coming back and watching it because i do appreciate you guys coming back and all the new subscribers out on the channel so as always I'd like to thank you guys for watching hope that man didn't want his wall <laughs> i'm evil rabbit and i will see you guys next time that was my own wall for my own house that's cool though we're good <laughs> That's fine.